Hi everyone. Uh, in this webinar, we would discuss in terms of why you should go completely online for your tax and regulatory requirements. And uh, I will put across some case studies to suggest is this the right time to completely go online. A uh, little bit of background. So this is Alok Patnia, managing partner at Tax Mantra Global. I have got Dipanjali with me. She would help me to coordinate and moderate this webinar. Hi, Dipanjali. And uh, so, lit so a little bit of background. So when we started Tax Mantra a decade back, uh, we always wanted to be digital first tax and legal firm. So basically, it means that we would focus on delivery to our clients through digital medium. And the idea was to ensure that how do we reach the last entrepreneur who would require tax and regulatory compliance help, even though if, if he doesn't have the logistics to get in touch with the right person, uh, the right subject matter expert in, in, in the field, he requires the, the, the help. So uh, with that thought process, Tax Mantra came about. The idea was to use technology, use digital medium to reach to the last entrepreneur. It was 10 years back. And 10 years back, it was very difficult to convince entrepreneurs and businesses, business owners, that you can actually get all the services online. And tax and regulatory service would be the last on their mind uh, if they want to acquire and take help online. Having said that, in the last 10 years, uh, a lot of things have changed. Most of the compliances in India become online. So you comply online. So you don't need the local support. Assessments are going online. And with this COVID situation, uh, with this uh, ch challenging environment where everyone is at home, it makes more sense at this point of time to take your compliances accounting regulatory compliances completely online there are four or five uh, advantages if you do that the first advantage is that if you hire if you want someone to come to your office to the to, to the compliances you are actually taking leveraging the minds and skill of that individual but if you are hiring someone online you are actually hiring a firm and you are hiring the, the complete expertise so you are not dependent on only that person in terms of the knowledge and skills. Then you save time, then you, then you, then you save cost because you, you, you are uh, leveraging on, on the travel time. And there are many other factors which, which play positive role when you want to hire someone online. So I've got Dipanjali with me. Hi, Dipanjali. Hi, hello. So uh, yeah, there, those were some good insights. I have like, I'll start with a very basic question that comes to the mind of the business owners is how do we coordinate with your consultants if he's not in front of you? So there are many businesses are still dependent where the local consultants come to their office, have a face-to-face -face meeting, do the tally entries over there in the office. And so how do we coordinate? Is there any communication gap? How the entire process works? There is still a lot of gray areas. So how do you, if, would, if you could share some pointers, like what should the businesses take care when they hire an online provider with respect to this? So uh, I, I would say it's more of a mindset. Uh, uh, you have this comfort because this is an old age uh, system and methodology that someone would come to your office to do the accounting, to do entries and tally. It's more of a mindset. There is nothing wrong and right since this process was being carried on for years and decades. So people are used to that process. If someone is not online, uh, so the way the way we are talking today, the way the business is happening today, everything is online. You you go get into virtual discussions, virtual meetings. Uh, you do not depend on on the local connect to do it. In fact. Uh, if, if you take that perspective, even the assessments are being done online. So I think virtual conferences, virtual meeting is the need of the hour. And you really don't need the physical presence to, to leverage on each other's knowledge and expertise that can be done online also. So that's not a challenge. It's, it was more of a mindset. Right, right. So as we were discussing also, the businesses have developed over
assistance uh, are there like for example uh, uh, some are funded some are funded through foreign holding and subsidiary companies there are foreign transactions businesses are going global and till now like if we see there are very limited service providers online who provide the entire service range to these businesses so sometimes they have to go to one service provider for their tax and accounting they might have to go to another for their audit so that's a hassle so how do you think that can be managed so that's that's an interesting perspective see uh, and that's that's something which is which is unique about tax mantra global and which is that we as a firm we have built our capabilities into different areas and we have diversified so we we are a tax and legal firm we we call ourselves tax and legal firm because we have full gamut of tax and regulatory services from domestic taxation to gst to uh, international taxation transfer pricing we also call ourselves legal firm because we do all all sort of corporate law services uh, regulatory services agreements uh, merger and acquisition deal structuring uh, the best part about this the panjali is that someone sitting in in entire two tier three city uh, someone sitting in in cities which wherein you will not have uh, an expert sitting in that city who is an expert in global taxation transfer pricing or someone who is is an expert in helping you to how you can go global by registering in singapore or in us that's where we come in and you can leverage our services so we we are helping businesses in indor bhopal raipur surat ahmedabad jaipur wherein they might not get a firm locally who would be able to do all these activities under one roof and that also so by going digital they can leverage our expertise and our knowledge to 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 get all those services so i i just remembered when you were saying about these services in jaipur indor and bhopal you were sharing a story with me about uh, a time when you had incorporated a company sitting in kolkata and the shareholders were from ukraine and another global country and where you had to consolidate and uh, information you had to coordinate with the consulates as well would you like to share the story with our participants as well just to give a perspective so uh, it it was couple of years back wherein uh, there was a client in surat and he wanted to uh, in uh, set up a company in in ukraine and with with a partner in australia and we we did that and he was struggling for 6 to 8 months to get the get the leverage us uh, uh, and we we helped him to do that another case study would be someone so just asked us that whether they can they can get our support in sweden uh since we we work with in more than 30 city, countries globally we have that that expertise but i will i will take a, a very recent example uh, wherein under the the virus breakout covid uh two weeks back uh, we had one one business who was struggling who wanted to uh, submit a report to his bank uh bank was was fine to get all the reports online but his accountant who used to come daily or uh, maybe thrice in a week to do the accounting and everything uh and and he since he was not able to come because of this virus outbreak he was struggling to submit those documents to the bank and that's where uh, he came to know about us and we prepared those documents and we helped him to to submit to the bank uh, for 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 a loan which he was trying to get so i think that that helps now uh, you we will you will be uh, you will be surprised and you will be happy to note that today we are we we are 100% online with 200% client delivery capability intact so from day 1 from from i in fact we are working from home from 19th of march prior to the the lo- lockdown announced by the government because we knew that the, the government had no other option but to but to announce lockdown and we are we are completely online as of today uh, uh, our clients can vouch for it that we we have been rendering services online and they, there has been no disconnect and no uh, a problem in terms of the service delivery uh, even though we are working from home so that is also a plus point most of the firms uh, uh, professionals i i talk to they 
they still are not able to understand or no, not able to complain to the fact that how can we we completely go online right so what i understand is that the role of a compliance manager or a role of your tax and legal professional has increased beyond the scope of just doing the compliances we need someone today who can be your technology partner who can be your uh, mentor and i know for a fact that you help a lot of businesses personally by providing them the uh, consultancy the advisory on a very personal basis so when you connect with these people uh, how do you how do you approach it what is your approach with respect to small businesses and their compliances and why how exactly do you feel that they will benefit uh, from this entire scenario how can they fight this lockdown uh so i i look at i look at this lockdown in a from a very different perspective uh, for for myself also and for for businesses wherein we are directly involved uh this this is an opportunity for all the businesses to go back to the drawing table uh, repivot what they were doing find out processes find out uh, what processes were working because on a day to day basis wherein we we have a we have a client delivery to be done we we travel to offices we come back we get into meetings we we don't really focus on auditing our processes so if if the if a process is set this process will continue so i think uh, what what i would advise to all the entrepreneurs today is to go back to the drawing table and see uh, how we can improve on our processes bring in new processes this is a different world so we have to have set different rules for this and find out areas wherein you can grow if uh, and i i genuinely feel that if businesses can survive and grow in next 6 to 8 months then those businesses are ready for next 30 years uh, so 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 i advise to all the businesses wherein we are directly involved and also other businesses to, is to focus on core activities to focus on activities which which wherein you wanted to bring in more expertise uh, and and uh, create that create that leverage so that when the world is open completely open you grow uh, in in a, in a in a massive way and and th- that is my advice and that's what we are also doing okay so let's uh, also get some hard facts over here right now how exactly is the onboarding process going on for the online service providers uh, like for example if you have to onboard a client now who wants to come to you and wants to shift his business online what is the process that you follow how is the message communicated how is this compliance handled if you can give us some hard facts as to the ground level how it is done so as of today uh, more than 400 businesses are completely dependent on us on a month to month basis when uh, and we are their uh, cloud accountant we are their compliance manager in some of the cases we are their de, de facto cfo also uh, we have a standard process of onboarding so when 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 a client we we get into an initial discussion and when, and when the client is convinced that he should move his compliances online then we ha- we have a onboarding process wh- which which gets triggered and a single point of contact with an escalation manager is being assigned to that person we have most most of our uh, uh, dashboards and other other reportings are are, are dashboard based in, in the sense that they get they get the reporting regularly and it's it's very transparent and it's very human in that sense so and it helps and a business owner to be on top of the compliances on top of things uh, at at all times so do you think it is cost effective at this time when the businesses have to be frugal about their spending do you think it helps with respect to the cost benefit analysis uh so uh, on an average uh, if you are hiring a uh, accountant independently then you are hiring someone for your corporate law uh, support then you are hiring someone for your annual audits then you are hiring someone for your taxation matters uh, pu- put together everything visa way when you hire a firm like tax mantra you would save 30 to 40% cost straight away uh, because because we we have a very strong internal communication segment so uh, all all the details and information pass pass through very easily from our 
from our accounts team from our tax team to a to a third party audit team wherein the third party audit team comes and audit gets the books of accounts audited so in also since everything is online since we work on a hourly basis we we save time on on unnecessary travel on unnecessary repetitive work you don't get need to you don't need to get into unnecessary communication between your different teams that putting together everything you save 30 to 40% cost if you hire something everything in house or from different teams what about services that require a physical presence for example internal audit or a fraud investigation how does the team handle those assignments so as i said we we have a we have a, a team and network of people who are there on ground so if if there is a need wherein a physical audit is required or if there is a department licensing is required or there is a tax tax assessments or something wherein the local requirement is needed then we 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 pitch in and we we ask our channel partners ask our business advisors or ask our team to get into get in touch with with and and fulfill that requirement so that 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 flexibility is there within the team okay another very important aspect when it comes to online data sharing is the data confidentiality in the data security as a whole so any tips that you would want to share that the businesses should keep in mind before signing of any consultant in general not just the online ones so what measures you take personally and what you would want the businesses to keep a note of see i think uh, personally uh, uh, in india smes and msmes are not very sensitive towards data and they should be sensitive uh, they 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 should ensure that uh, they sign a proper nda when they when they onboard a consultant and they also should ensure that there are right processes and systems are in place when when they onboard a consultant so i think i think these these uh, small steps uh, goes a long way in terms of uh setting the right standard for data security having said that in today's world uh what what is more important is that how do you handle data because data security at times is overstated today when when we when we uh when we feel that nothing is shared we have a lot of data on google and everything and we don't know what's happening with that data so it's more of a more of a mutual data confidentiality clause which we need to be adhe- need to adhere to uh but having uh, in in totality what is more important is that as a business owner it's high time that the business owner should needs to uh, evaluate and explore uh whether uh, the compliances and everything is the right time to take it online reason being that the world is moving at at a r- rapid pace and we need to have alternative options and cost effective options wherein Uh, your compliances are taken care of irrespective of whether you are consultant or whether your business is so i think that is very very critical i think with this uh, uh, dipanji do you have any other questions or we no, we, sir, we... Uh, just summarize something for our participants is that uh, when you onboard an uh, online tax uh, consultant or tax legal consultant you uh, what you can do is what alok said you can get an nda uh, signed you can do a social media due diligence as well that goes a long way in telling which consultant is more uh, give, like which consultant is more likely to help you what kind of experience they have i think these few things uh, would help you in at least shortlisting the people that you want to work with because at the end of the day if there is no comfort level with your consultant it the relationship will not work out yeah the point that that that's very critical i think uh a background check and and comfort level is something which is which is very very important to start with i think with that uh, we we close this webinar we are open to q and a uh, if someone has any any question in terms of how we on board and how we help businesses uh, in their compliances completely online do get in touch with you this uh, this video will be available on facebook and and youtube very soon uh, thanks for joining in and thanks everyone